The popular Shell Rotella Super Rig show rolled into Toma, Wisconsin this June, sharing the spotlight with the Budweiser Super National Truck and Tractor Pulls. There was big money up for grabs at this year's competition, including more than $25,000 in cash, but perhaps even more coveted, 12 spots in the prestigious Super Rigs calendar. Contestants came from all over the U.S. and Canada, with owners working hard to stay one step ahead of Mother Nature. At the show, I caught up with Chris Guerrero, Global Brand Manager for Shell Rotella, to find out why the show is so important to the brand. So here at Shell Rotella, for over 31 years now, we've been doing the Shell Super Rigs event. And when you ask me why Rotella spends the time and effort in doing an event like that, it's quite simple. Rotella's been a part of the trucking community for over 40 years as one of the leading brands out there in the marketplace. So for us, it just makes sense. When you talk about an engine oil that's designed to protect hardworking trucks, and you talk about beautiful trucks, what we came to understand was the two aren't mutually exclusive. You can look pretty and work hard. And I think these trucks, year in, year out, prove that to people who get the calendar or who now follow us on Facebook when this event's going on. So for us, it's a natural match for the brand and our customer base. It really is a celebration of working trucks, oh, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, and in fact, that's one of the requirements and what makes it unique is to appear in the Shell Super Rigs calendar, you actually have to be a working truck. So uh, it's easy, or right? it's still going to be a labor of love to create a custom rig, but to create a custom rig that's intended to go out on the road, haul and deliver and keep the country moving, that says something in and of itself. Walking around the parking lot, there's an awful lot of trucks from Wisconsin, which uh, is another great thing about the show. It moves around, doesn't it? So it's easy to get out to, to the We to do. The every park. year we make it a point with Shell Super Rigs to try to find a location that's in a slightly different spot of the United States. The reason being, we get contestants from all over the U.S. to each one of these events. But when we move it, what we find is we draw in new contestants from around that area. In fact, I was right down here looking at a couple of rigs um, that are housed right up the road. So it's a nice treat for some of our kind of contestants to be able to come out when it's in their backyard and show off what they've been doing. And it just shows the diversity of this kind of uh, passion and this kind of an effort across the nation. So we like moving it. We like seeing different parts of the country and seeing different new contestants every year. Okay, and lastly, how about the, the level of competition this year? Holy Moses. You know what, every year that we've done it, right, so 31 years now, you think you've seen it all, and then you have the next event, and you realize something new is out there. So the level of competition year in, year out gets tougher. And you talk about a hard job. Look, my job is easy. When I'm out here at Shell Super Rigs, I get to walk around, I get to see some fantastic looking rigs. The hard work goes on right behind me. Those judges that are out here, we have some of our judges that have been doing this 21 years. And the level of detail that, that, that goes into judging these trucks is enormous. It's not just if they look good. Look, they all look good out here. It is the intricacy of the design. It is the detail with which they're polished and shined. It is looking not just at the outside, but looking inside the wheel wells. It is absolutely amazing the amount of detail that goes into this judging. And the reason being, the competition level is super high with this event. At the end of the competition, William Rustwish of Toma, Wisconsin, and his 2012 Pete 389 won Best of Show, taking home $10,000 from Shell and another $5,000 from Mack Trailers. And several Canadian entrants had hardware to declare when crossing the border back into Canada. J Transport's John and Allison Dick of Saskatoon, Saskatchewan won Best Theme for their 2007 Pete 379. Third place in the tractor division went to Jade's Martin Warner and his 2013 Pete 388, earning him $750. And Andy Zeri won fourth place in the Classic division for his 1959 Mac B61, earning him $500. For Transportation Matters, this has been James Menzies.